settings of homeschool arts and crafts. So if you've got kids at home or if your kids are looking for some fun ideas, we're going to bring you a new video every Tuesday and every Thursday, noon central time. So we'll be bringing you a different art and craft project live and we'll be doing it live. And my kids are the ones who are going to be doing them. And sometimes I'll jump in and help. But today we have Brandon. Now, Hi. Brandon, how old are you? I'm 10 years old. He's 10 and he's in fourth grade. And we still have homeschool art to do. So today we're going to do a little bit of painting. Now, this canvas we got at a company called Orange Art Box. And the link is down below. And they actually have these kits on sale right now. Now, the paints that we're using today um, are a little different than what you'd be using in the kit you're getting from them because he wants some different colors. So you can totally take the box that they will ship to you. It's a ship direct to your door box. Um, but this canvas is in there. My daughter already got one. And so this is the one that she made, which is pretty cute. But Brandon, we're going to let you do your thing. So go for it. So I got this idea. Go ahead, start painting, honey. Do whatever you like. So he's going to just paint away and do his thing. I, do you like doing these canvases where there's, uh, like, it's kind of pre-done for you and yeah. you just kind of fill it in? Uh -huh. Is it easier than just a blank canvas? Yeah. Yeah. Is that more fun? Or mm -hmm. is it just different? It's just more fun. You like it when it's already kind of pre-painted? Uh-huh. And so I think this is, like I said, my daughter did hers. There's a little girl superhero. They're making the monster to be a bad guy. Poor monster. <laughs> Monsters could be good guys too, or good, good, good dinos. Well, they're not, I guess there's guys and girls. I don't know. What do you want to call it? So we're here doing our little art class and having fun. And I thought it's a great way to get the kids going with what we're doing today and giving us something to do every day. So we're looking forward to this every Tuesday and Thursday now. And we're getting a little bit of art class action happening. So he's working on his color theory. So he picked out a whole bunch of paints that I had in my stash. So I work with plaid. And so we had a whole bunch of these folk art paints. So we pulled them out. And he's got his little paint palette here. Let me show you. This is my little paint palette here. And he picked out his colors. And I told him that we could use the three in the center there where he could mix his colors. And he had to think, you know, I want the, the dinosaur. You definitely wanted to do the light green for, you want to turn it so you don't touch it. Nice thing about a canvas is you can turn it. Hey, Grace, how are you doing? Are you guys doing any art stuff at home? I hope you're doing at least something arty. Do you remember Grace? She came and stayed with us. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. I hope your family is doing good. So we're going to bring you guys something different every week or every Tuesday and every Thursday. We've got a plan of things. I mean, my kids love doing arts and crafts. And so we thought we'd share some of the fun things that we do in the house. You know, sometimes I just pull out supplies and it's just create. And then sometimes they're kind of pre-organized kits or something. And then I can share with you guys some links about where you can find them. Oh, here, use this one. So this one's got this really cool little thing inside of it. I don't know if you guys, oh, don't squish it too hard. <laughs> That's why we have paper towels right here. <laughs> Whoops. For some reason, it wasn't squished. So in the bottom of this, uh, it's got this little thing called a paint puck inside of it. I have another paint jar. We can try and show them. It's got this little knobby looking thing in there. And what it is, is that you put your paint and this is just an old mason jar a little flat so you can take your paintbrush and you swish it around inside of there and it helps get all the paints off so let's move that up there so you can see your paintbrush is easier you're doing diamond art yeah diamond art's a fun one we actually we're going to do um we might be doing a video on that coming up soon we will not obviously do the entire diamond art project but we do have some diamond art coming probably in a video down the line what Morgan? Yeah, well, we have one that Morgan's been working on, so we could pull that one out and work on it some more. That's kind of fun. But I've got a lot of other ones too. We got lots of. I've I've worked with so many fun companies, and I've got lots of really fun arts and craft projects that um, I just haven't gotten to video yet. And so now we're having a good excuse and a good chance to use it, and hopefully inspiring. Oh, too much paint. You don't need that much. There you go. Just a little bit because then you want to be able to see what's underneath right there you go so part of it is just letting them create and have fun and do their thing so what else i hear that we've got some other people that are on here right now what else are you guys doing for your arts and crafts at home for your projects with your kids or with your or what inspires you? Like, what are you doing right now to help 
pass the time. <laughs> we have homework still. We do still have homework. And our lovely art teachers have come up with some really fun ideas of things to do. Uh, we might be doing some of these recorded. That's another possibility of some recorded ideas because it's just feasibility of sometimes something else is going on. So we might have some recorded videos up down the line. But uh, we'll try to do as many lives as possible because it's just fun to interact. I'm loving your dinosaur there. That's pretty cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that fun? Is mm -hmm. it therapeutic? <laughs> I like the color of green together. It looks pretty. Can I get, show you a hint? All right, so watch. So this is a really thick paint. If you want to dilute your paint, just dip it in a little bit of water, and your paint will go a lot further. See? Oh. oh, so a little bit of, so on this canvas, this is a primed canvas, meaning that it already has, so you don't have to keep dipping in. So you can, and look, now we can get all, you can see that cool texture that's on there, right? And mm -hmm. the, the water just, it makes the paint flow a little bit better. So you don't have to keep dipping in because this is really thick up there, which sometimes mm -hmm. thick is really cool, but mm -hmm. sometimes just a little bit of water. This helps it a little bit. It helps better. it, yeah. Look how easy it is to get in. Here, you do it. I don't want to do your whole project for you, but that's just a little fun tip. So you don't have to dip directly in the paint if you feel like your paintbrush is getting thin. You have a lot of paint on that paintbrush. So just dip it into a tiny bit of water. Yeah, you can even come back in there and then dip in there and that'll probably do the other leg. So you can make your paint go a lot further. So a, a little bit really does go a long way. So Catherine painted the entire background of hers. Blue. I'm gonna squish it through here. So she painted it blue like it was a night sky. Are you gonna paint the background of yours or leave it plain? I'm probably gonna leave it blue. You're gonna do blue on the back? Mm -hmm. We have a light blue. Yeah, so I'm gonna do like put it like, oh, a, okay. like a midday. A midday blue. So look, he's pushing the paint around, trying to like extend the paint out. It looks good. Oh, that's his tail. I'm like, you're going off. <laughs> I, got, I, <laughs> I was getting all scared on that one. <laughs> you were doing the correct thing and I was being silly. <laughs> that's funny. That is too funny. <laughs> but it's back here. Ah. Is it therapeutic doing your art? Mm -hmm. Just sit and relax and just, uh, I don't know. Doing art is kind of fun to me too because I just feel like I can relax. So you want to see another cool technique? All right. Ready? You can take a different paintbrush and just a little tip. All right. You can kind of dab it on a little paper towel like mm -hmm. I have right here. And then you can come in and you can just go over the spots that have the darker colors just to give it some texture. So you can come in and kind of add it's the same color paint, but because you've lightened it on the other side, it just adds a difference. So it's just kind of cool. Thank you, honey. So we're getting our kids art and craft project on, doing some art time today. My other kids, uh, Morgan doesn't do art, he's in middle school. Um, but he does band and so he actually he had an online lesson yesterday with his instrument Which was pretty cool. So his lesson teacher the two of them got online and did that and Catherine's gonna do an art project later I think she might get on live with me on Thursday when we do an art project and we'll do one together with her I might get on it too. Oh, you might get on it too. I don't know. We have to decide well, what, what do you think we're gonna do on Thursday? I haven't decided that yet don't know yet. We have to figure that out. We got some options. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you going to paint next? Probably the pow. The pow sign. So what color are you going to do for the pow? Go clean your brush. Let's do. So you want a small brush. This is a nice small brush. I like that one. I'm going to use this one for the outlining. And that's going to be. So here's a little bit of brush theory. Hang on, hang on. So look how long and floppy this is, right? Is that mm -hmm. going to be good to get in and get some little nooks and cracks? Or is a shorter brush going to be better to get in and do really de uh -huh. defined work? Which one's going to give it easier? Yeah. So that Which one. one, this is great if you want to do some really cool brush strokes. Wait, wait, I'll wait, clean wait, 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 it. Wait, wait, no, oh, you're going to, oh, I get it. Save the paint. Good job. So this kind, this is just for different reasons. Every brush has got its own use. So if you're doing a nice long flat stroke and you want to cover up a space like this because it's nice and defined, this is a good brush for that. Mm -hmm. 
He's got a really good detail brush. Here, I'm going to hold this. It doesn't look so funny. He's got a good detail brush. And there are smaller brushes for detail brushes as well. Here's another one. This has got a little bit more of a uh, finer tip. That's got a broader piece. So you don't want to do super detail work. So like in her little heart right there, I would probably use just the very, very tip mm -hmm. of that brush. Um, a long brush like this would be great if you're not worried about trying to paint inside something. It's it's just too long, it's too floppy, at least for me, that's how I kind of look at it. Um, these two brushes are great if you have a lot of space. So for instance, if we're down here, we're trying to paint the edges of this, getting in, doing some of the broader strokes of doing the blue, I think one of these two brushes would be great for that. Uh, this is a nice flat tip, this is more rounded, and if that's kind of a personal preference in my opinion about which brush to use. So. Part of this is also, I put all these brushes out for him to do a little brush education about how, what brushes to use for what kind of art project. Now don't forget, you can also dip in the water. But if you dip in the water, remember how it changed color? Uh -huh. So if you wanna keep it that really dark color like you're doing, here, turn it, turn it, turn it. So we're turning it so he doesn't stick his hand inside the paint. So what if you don't have a printed canvas or you don't um, have the, the money to go through and print something like this but you have paint and you have paint brushes what else could you do there is your own thing you could make your own yeah so even if you don't have a canvas you could draw something on paper with a pen that is not going to smear when you add pa paint to it so a sharpie um you could also print something out there's so many amazing principles out there one of my friends oh that's way too much paint so you don't want to add globs and globs of paint so see how it's just kind of on there, but it's not coated. So one of my friends, her name is Laura Kelly. She has some really great principles for kids. I will put the link on there after we're done so you guys can check her out. She has all kinds of really cool activity sheets and coloring sheets, but you could totally print out one of her coloring sheets. And instead of coloring it, you could paint it and you could fill it in just like this. It just wouldn't happen to be on a canvas. It would just be on a piece of paper. Right. And if you don't want to have it on printer paper, you could always print it off on something that's a little bit sturdier. So that's kind of a fun thing to do as well. So just because you don't have this particular canvas doesn't mean you can't do something similar to this. And they're getting the idea for so that paint, this paint actually started drying out a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of water and we're just going to kind of add the water to it. So you could dip in and then dip to there. And paint, as long as it's not completely dried up, as long as it's still smushy, it will come back to life. Because this is a water-based paint. This is an acrylic paint. These are all satin colors from Folk Art. I love them. One little bottle will last a long, 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 long time. As long as you seal it correctly and close the cap on it, it'll be great. So here's a quick question for you, Brandon. Was it smart to come in and paint know, the okay, yellow? So what would be a better idea? Instead the thinner of, ones? No, go to a different part of the canvas wow. and let that dry. And maybe work on a portion like the girl or something. Or do the clouds, mm, the stars. So come back to doing that later mm -hmm. and giving a chance for it to dry. Now what should I do? Okay, so other little <laughs> tip for you guys. See how he's left the paintbrushes today? And I think I left one of mine in there too. Your paintbrushes are going to get damaged if you leave them in the paint. So brush them off. And I just have a little paper towel here. And just kind of clean them off a little bit and get them. And then you don't have to worry about having your paintbrushes get all mucky and gross. Um, and they'll last a heck of a lot longer. Paint on here it doesn't bother me, but you can also kind of scrape that off if you wanted to. So do you have one that's got a little paint? And mm -hmm. truly, a sign of a good paintbrush is one that looks well-loved. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some love to it. So I would avoid doing right here for now and come over to an area that's, like, even part of your dinosaur. Like, you could come in and do stars. You could work on, like, this building right here. That would be a good one. You could work on her. Lots of cool stuff. Truly, even, this is also, I mean, I, I say this is, like, homeschool for kids, but... As an adult, I think this would be super fun. To, I was kind of jealous that we only had two of these, and I, I want to do one too. <laughs> so I might print one off for myself because <laughs> they're just fun. I mean, think about it. I do a lot of card making, and I do coloring with markers inside of that. But who's to say that you can't do the same thing where you can stamp your image, let it dry, and then just paint it in? That would be – I mean, I do lots of watercolor painting too in some of my stamped images on my cards. So – it's all fun. Ooh, that's a pretty. So you mixed the red pink. and the pink. So he made like a dusty rose. 
That's so pretty. So here's some color theory, Brandon. What happens if you mix yellow and orange? What are you going to get? A light orange. A lighter orange, right? What happens if you mix red and blue together? What do you get? Um, purple. Purple. Very cool. What about white? We don't have any white on there, uh, but white and red. Light red, pink. <laughs> a light red would be pink, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. Or like a magenta, uh, or like a. Um, uh... It also depends on what color yeah. red you're starting with. Are you starting with a big bright red, red, or are you starting with a red like this? Like a dark red. Right. Let's so there's so many fun Let's colors. So what colors we're working? We're working with daffodil yellow. We're working with, and I can't even tell. Oh, cardinal red. It was it blue and green that makes purple? What two colors make purple? Blue and green. No, blue and green will make. Blue like, and yellow. No, what does blue and yellow make? Uh, blue and yellow makes like a. Well, try it. You got it right here. What does blue and yellow make? Not, well, here. Okay. You don't want to get your. I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> yeah, we'll clean. Start with a clean brush. So you don't mess it up. So grab a little bit of the yellow. Because I might. And this is a little bit stiff. It's not dead, but so you want to mix these two? Uh -huh. Okay. Probably will make. Now this is a very light, 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 light blue. We don't have a dark blue. No. So what know. are you starting to get? A green. A green. So that looks that looks like a really light green. It is. It's a light green because we had a light blue. Oh, so that means I can put that on the boy. Sure. So yeah, this is kind of a, like a light green. It's a different, but it's a different shade of green than the other two greens that you have. Yeah. So Oh, your, how much paint do you have on there right now? A little too much. Uh, a little too much. There you go. Put that on the. So you're just doing her skirt with that one color? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Totally cool. So we also love to hear what your kids, if you've got kids or grandkids, would love. And you can obviously share this video with anybody who you who loves to do art to give them some fun ideas, crafting along with my kids, hopefully getting some fun tips. So is that ah? Look at the paintbrush. Look how much paint's on there. And don't forget, you can also water it down a little bit. Is that some pretty thick paint? I bet Sorry, I'm like... all like in his business right now while he's trying to paint. Is that bothering you? No. <laughs> I'm like, don't do that. Ah. <laughs> it is very, very dry paint. Well, add some water to it. That's the whole point. Yeah, put some water on there. Look how much easier it is to move around now. Water is amazing. Now, there's two different kinds of paints. Well, there's a lot more than two color paints, but there's two Main. two of the paints out there. Let me rephrase that because there's more than just two different types of paints. Two of the paints out there, some of them are water-based and some of them are oil-based. Oh. So what would happen if you added water to an oil-based paint? Would it flow like this? No. No, it's kind of like oil and vinegar and oil and water. They separate, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't use that. So you have to use a different thing called mineral spirits to help do what you're doing with the water. I personally like working with a water-based paint because it just is easier to work with. Uh, I think the cleanup's a little simpler. I don't have to worry about trying to deal with stuff. If you're going to do oil-based colors, uh, definitely more of the higher advanced true art, fine art. But for what the kids are doing, acrylic based or even watercolors are awesome for a project like this. Watercolor paints would be fantastic. Catherine, what paint did you use on your superhero? Water. Do you remember? What? Water. You did the watercolor and the tray? Did you do the watercolors in the tray, honey? She's playing a game, a math game on the computer right now. She's doing her computer time for her. I think she's playing, what's it called? Kizzy. Kizzy. So we have it's a whole math. bunch of these. It's a math. Educational play fun. So it's okay. like she's playing a video game, but there's all these math questions uh, in the middle of it. Well, it's, it's not really math questions. It's more like reading and all that. Okay. And like some math, like some games have like, um, you have to, some games that like you have to do math to go on. Like to, some math. Like, Can I help you? I'm jealous that you're painting and I'm not. Or do you want to draw yourself? Can you help <laughs> me on the girl? Okay. I'll do the girl. <laughs> 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 the look he just gave me when I asked if I could help him, he was like, no, no, oh, no. what are you thinking? <laughs> Why are you asking me this? Oh, you're going to do a red building? Mm hmm Cool. Like a brick. Ah, because so is that too much paint? Oh, and also if. Is that too much paint? 
Yeah. yeah, so let's clean off some of that brush. You grab too much paint, it's hard. So let me just do a little something so you don't mess up the girl. You're getting into my turf now. Uh, and we're gonna <laughs> and let's move down. So we're gonna take some of this paint and move it. Uh, See what I, I'm doing? Yeah, I, yeah. And yeah, a little paint in the outside. You did that. An accident. Okay, well stop. No, 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 no. Take a clean brush. And let's go wipe. Okay, hang on, we're not done. And I'm gonna clean off that brush a few different times. Get it nice and clean. Let's go wipe. Yeah. Now, what color are you going to do in that space, though? Blue. You're going to do blue. So I'm just trying to lighten it. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the paint brush. I'm dabbing it. So this is how you clean up a boo-boo. I'm taking it. I'm cleaning it off to get it nice and clean. And it's okay if this water looks murky. It's no big deal. Just as no long as you keep kind of dabbing. Your, yeah. Not much. All the paint pretty much settles to the bottom. So I'm just trying to clean this up as much as I can. And he will paint over that. So it's a way to fix the boo-boo. So where do we get the superhero painting? So this particular canvas has come from a company from, called Orange Art Box. They actually have a kid subscription box right now. And this is in the box along with the paints and the paint brushes and a few other fun things that are in there for the kids to do. So it's an art and crafts kids box. And the link to go to the website is down in the information section. So you guys can jump on. And it's an immediate ship box. So basically you just put it in and when they run out, they run out. I do know that they have a limited quantity of these particular uh, canvases. I reach over super fast. So this is the one that my daughter did a couple of days ago. She had fun making this one. But in case you cannot get or they run out or, you know, some, heaven forbid that you can't get one of these, even though they're super cute, um, you can always do something printed on cardstock. A thicker cardstock would be better. And you could really do and then you can cater the image to whatever you want. This happens to be kind of a nice canvas because it's thick. It's primed. It's got the image on there. Um, we're using our own paints with this versus the ones that came in the box because he wanted to go a different direction. And I have tons of paint at home. So. In my mind, one of those kids subscription boxes, you can blend what you already have. Oh, too much paint. Don't put too much on there. You don't need that much. And add a little bit of water so it moves. He's like, he's shaking your head. You don't want water on there? Okay. I just like a dark red. Oh, you really want dark. So I, I like blending what comes in the kit also with uh, things that we have at home just to kind of make the kit last a little bit longer as well. So it kind of works a little bit better for us. All right, so I'm gonna make her hair blonde. I've been given permission to do the girl. I think it's because it's a girl. If I asked to do the boy, he'd be like, no. Am I right? Eh, maybe. <laughs> Somehow I think I am correct in that response. So like I said, I, I got jealous of sitting here watching him doing the craft. So I want to jump in and I want to play too. So I am going to do the girl. And it's this is a great beginning to learn to paint because you're having to figure out what paint brushes to use, how much paint to put on your paint brush. If you do too much, it gets kind of smeary. Uh, we're using acrylic paints, which work fantastic for this. And I started painting stuff, not on canvas. I started actually painting little figurines when I was a kid. And I started doing it, I was about your age. I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. I would sit there and it would be like my little escape when I came home from school. I would have all these little figurines and, and those things. Kids got those at the DG last Easter. Hmm? What's DG? Yeah, what is DG? I'm not sure what DG is. I'm kind of confused on that. Dollar one. General? Is that what Dollar General is? I will say this canvas is made by a different company. I mean, Orange Art Box did not create this canvas. They did purchase it through a different party. Um, they, they do have some of their own original projects or products that they put out there, but this is one of the ones they did get from somebody else. So that's cool, nothing wrong with that. In my mind, it's giving the kids something creative uh, to do. Geez, Dollar General. I was right, Dollar General. That's awesome. I don't even know if the Dollar General is open right now. Probably not. Well, but they sell food and stuff, so certain things are open. So we live in the Austin area and things are kind of, there's some things are open and some things aren't. It really kind of depends. I'm gonna do her cape a light pink. 
I don't know why I used to start with pink on her. See, I'm a girl. Obviously, I'm a girl. But, <laughs> but my favorite colors are blue and green. So I would have made her with blues like aquas and teals. And those have been, maybe I can still, oh, I can still do that though. I can still give her a different color for something yeah. else. No, I yeah. can't give her a different color. So her cape is, you want her all to be pinks? Oh, it's whatever that color. How did you get that like blonde? It's the yellow. It's just yellow? It's just yellow. Oh. It's just yellow. It doesn't look like it. Well, when you put it on something, so you see yellow over here and you mm. think it's something different, but then when you see it in a different perspective, it, it looks just different. All right. All right. What else we got? We got, oh, we'll do a little pink in her mouth. So what color do you want to give her face? You want to leave it just plain, like the way it is? Uh -huh. Because we didn't pull out Brown. any kinds of like browns or skin tones, like or, so you could just leave her blank if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. It's your call. We could get the um, uh, like blonde, like the uh, what Catherine does on on her. You can get that out. Okay, so that's the cool thing is that you could even make blue people or green people, purple people, purple people eaters. <laughs> You can make them whatever you want. Yeah, I always have a hard time with flesh tones. Most kids, um, I don't know if that's true or not, but do kids tend to make the colors that they are? Or do they tend to go do with... Do you just beyond colors? I don't know. Like an alien? Like an alien color? Yeah. Should like we make them orange? Should we make them orange people? No. No. <laughs> We can make them whatever color we want, right? Mm -hmm. Our, your, well, no, you it's can make them whatever color. <laughs> He's like, this is mine. <laughs> well, do you want me to get another color then? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I will go yeah. dig. Uh, can, we, can we find black? Yes. I will also find a black. And I'm going to get out a different paint palette because that one's getting kind of full. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's fine. All right. You keep painting. Um, I feel like the red's done. So I'm going to do the red. the red of the over here mm -hmm. for the pal. Okay, black, 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 black. Oh, you want a brown as well? Um, no. No, don't want brown for anything? No. Nope, nope, nope. Gonna dig through all the paint stash. Well, right now you do. <laughs> For some strange reason, I'm having the hardest time trying to find black. Black is hard to find. Well, most of the caps are black, so. Yeah, I know. I think I just, I use black the most, so I tend to run out of it the fastest. I think that's the scenario I'm coming across. <laughs> We try to be all prepared and have all of our colors set before we start the business. <laughs> and inevitably, we always come up with something else that we're missing. Ah, I'm black. Okay, what colors did you want again? Black and. Um, oh, yeah, the, like, the skin tone. Like a light tone? The one that Catherine did first. Okay. We can do that. So tell them what you're doing right now. Like, what are you up to? Nothing really. Nothing really. Just painting. Oh, that's no fun. What is your hour spent doing every day? Play my tablet. <laughs> Play Minecraft. <laughs> plays on his tablet a lot. I will have to say that. Play Minecraft on your tablet. Anything else you're doing? Not really. Are you doing homework? Well, yeah. Playing with my dog. 
lots of playing with the dog right now. Now, how old is our puppy? Four months, and he looks like a year old. He's really... <laughs> is he big? Yeah, he, he's bigger than... When we first got him, he was, like, really, really big. He was bigger than we thought. Right? Yeah. Well, we're not... We weren't really sure how big he was going to yeah, be. Yeah, so we were like... Mm, I thought he was going to be small, but nope. All right, so here is two colors. Is that too white for you? Um, that one? Yeah. No, it's probably... Did you use that for it's, a, it's Well, so what we can... So, Different, it's different. So like what we can do is you can different. take. Is that, is, like, is that white? Yeah, it's it's kind of it's called vintage white. Oh. So oh, you take a little bit of that, good. right? And then I'm going to use a different paintbrush, and then we're going to take a tad bit of the pink. Oh, way too much. And you can kind of um, add the shade to it. If you really want a little bit more pink, so you can kind of play with the tones. So what do you really think of that? That looks good. You look down good? to the girl. Well, or then you can me. use the same color for the boy. True. Yep. But I'll probably mess with it. I put like a little yellow in it and all that. Sure. That's the whole point of painting. You're going to have fun with that. Cleaning out the paintbrushes. There we go. Yay! <laughs> All right, so what else we got? So I'm gonna do her. Make it smaller brush back again. All right, so we're gonna keep on painting this, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of this final project when he is done, and we're gonna post it up on my Instagram. And Instagram is Aaron Reed Makes, just at Aaron Reed Makes. Links are on at my YouTube channel, and we will be back next Thursday, or this upcoming Thursday, sorry, because today is Tuesday. We'll be back every Tuesday and every Thursday doing some more lives, different projects every time, something different for arts and crafts with tips and tricks and ideas of fun things that you can do with your kids at home during this whole stay at home process and sheltered in and being at home. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. I hope we gave you some fun ideas for your kids to do projects for arts and crafts at home to fulfill their art portion of their homeschooling activities. And do you want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye, everybody. Please, please say thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you guys live again. We're going to do another live this upcoming Thursday at noon central. Bye, everybody. Bye.